Hi guys, Paula, two travelers here in Mexico. Mark is on the other side of the camera doing the video. Um, this is a little bit different video than we normally do, but you know, sometimes we're all over the place talking about other things. This time, we're talking about our street dog, Brindle. Hi, Mama Dog. She has been um, in the neighborhood um, for a while, and I've been feeding her for a couple of weeks in my driveway. And uh, here she is, pretty girl, huh? I call her Brindle because she's a Brindle color. And um, I decided, I don't know, after two months of feeding her or something, to take her in. And this was after we got Fiona, like nine days afterwards, I decided to take her in. Lord behold, I did not know at the time she was pregnant. So I took her to the bed and um, yeah, she was four weeks pregnant. Well, I'm not gonna turn my back on a dog that's pregnant, especially a street dog. So, and I already made the commitment to take her in and adopt her. So, um, anyhow, Lord behold, uh, she had an ultrasound. They found that there was five puppies in there. They told me to come back later uh, for another ultrasound. I did, and they told me the best way to know how many puppies she was having is through an x-ray. I didn't want to do that, so they did the ultrasound, and they said somewhere between six and ten puppies, and that's where Mark almost fell on the floor like a daddy would when they find out they're having triplets or something. <laughs> right, Mark? Yeah, I was <laughs> speechless. He was speechless. He, he, he was in shock, and he wasn't real happy at the moment. But, you know, Mark said, would you do it again or something to that effect? And what was my answer? Yes. Yeah, I would do it again. Hi, Mama. Here is puppy number one. Oh, Brindle's doing so good. The cuteness is outweighing the grossness. Here's baby number two. <laughs> this one's black and white. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Is it moving Please. okay? Yeah, it's moving. Just give her a second. I think she's getting the umbilical cord disconnected. Its little mouth is opening okay. It looks like a little cow. <laughs> Good job. It looks like a little cow. Do you not see this? Number three, on her way out still. Uh, the mother's helping her, cleaning her up. She's on my um, Breaking the sack. Chewing through the umbilical cord. Did you tell his man to on the phone? No. She hung up. The black and white one? There's yep. number four that just popped out. Good girl, good girl. Mom is cleaning. Good girl, good girl. So it's cleaning another black and white. Yeah. Another black and white one. Sure. Another boy. Yeah. Here's number five. At what time? It is like seven fifty-one. A lot of white mm -hmm. so far. Okay, so it's a light. Mm -hmm. We have our first blonde. Nice. Looks like a cow. White with <gasps> spots though. And there's number six. Uh, what do you like? Just like number five was the first four. Well, the first one is. Brown, oh, look at Gina. This one's got a little two, brown three, on its four, ear. Mm -hmm. And up by its eye, like a um, mask. Yeah. So far, there have been six more. puppies born. Uh, the vet told us there were minimally six and Possibly maybe ten. more, maybe as many as ten. Um, but Brandel's been doing a pretty good job of taking care of all of them as they pop out. Cleans them. He cleans them all up. and. Uh, they make a little puppy noise. It seems like they're all pretty happy right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. There you go, Mama. Come on, Mama. There we go. There you go. She's moving. Baby's so moving. <laughs> no. And there is number eight. eight. Oh, what cute markings that one has, uh -huh. too. Yeah. There we go. There we go. 
Starts beating. So this is number nine. Another boy. There you go. There you go. Okay. Okay. Hey, Mama. I think Paulette is in seventh heaven with all these new little puppies. I, who doesn't love puppies, right? Mm -hmm. The little squeaky noise that they make. Mm -hmm. And Mama, she let me hold them for a little bit, but she was watching me. Watch, I'll show you what she does. Watch, this one's getting away. Look at this. Yeah. Mama that... keeps an eye on the puppies at all times, especially if they're being picked up. That is just so cute. Here you go, Mama. I'm not going to hurt your babies. And there's this one that looks like a little cow. And this one's a little chubby one. And I think it's going to be Brindle like Mama, but with more white. She's got more of a shepherd looking face. Look at that face. Oh my God. So freaking cute. And look at its little tail. It's got a little white tip on it. See, Mama's tail doesn't do that. So who knows, maybe multiple daddies. They're just so adorable. Some of them are little chubbets. Oh, I've changed her blankets twice now. This one's another little runt. But it looks like it's gonna be Brindle too. This one has more white on its tummy. Can you see that? I tell you what, she had some real beauties. Just take a picture of that little face. So this is Brindle, the mama and the puppies. They are about three days old now or just a few hours short of it um, as you can see some of the puppies are sleeping some are nursing um, so it's pretty cool there are a lot of different colors um, so there are probably maybe two or three fathers involved in all of this um, as I walk the dogs I scan the other street dogs to see if they were possibly the father uh, but things are going pretty well. I think I recognize a couple of the daddies on the street looking at these puppies. Yeah. So Brindle is, uh, was a street dog that we took in a few weeks ago, and then we discovered she was pregnant. Uh, as a consequence, she is not uh, potty trained or housebroken. So, oh, there's a cute puppy yawning. Look at their little markings. This one's got a little little mark on his head but look at that is that adorable mm -hmm. by his eye and his nose on both sides mm -hmm. so perfect this one's this one's a little boy and there's um, actually seven boys and two girls mm -hmm. but um, yeah they'll be uh, three days old they're getting little tummies on them already they're eating very healthy and trying to keep mama healthy for her babies and uh, they're just so damn cute. <laughs> so, uh, Brindle, as I said, it was a street dog and not house trained, and she has unfortunately been, been using different spots in our house as the bathroom. So we've had to barricade off the stairs with a couple of bikes, a laundry basket, um, and then when we leave, Amazon box. Yeah, we slide the couch over so she can't get past that. So. That's our other at least if there's going to be a mess, we can kind of contain it to one area now. So I'm going to show you each of her babies. Um, she had them Sunday night. Today is Wednesday. They actually weren't born yet um, to make them exactly three days old. They were born between 
like 6.53, because we wrote down the time, 6.53 p.m. to 9.30 was the last one, number nine. Um, so her pregnancy or her delivery was really easy. Um, well, I can say that <laughs> it was easy for me. I was prepared with dental floss to tie off the little umbilical cords if I needed, scissors to cut it, um, some gloves if I needed to get in there and rip the membrane from the babies. Um, little suction cup. Little suction cup for their, um, their mouths if they were like gasping for air or something. None of that was necessary, none of it. She was a great mama, and you can see she's resting right now. I'm going to hold up each of the babies and show you how adorable they are. So, here's one. A sleepy one. Yeah, a little chubby one. Um, but I'm trying to feed mama as best as I can. He had a little hair. Anyhow, he's adorable. Adorable. He might be a brindle color like mama. Um, but his markings are very cute. This one is a little boy. So that's one. There's one that's growling in here trying to get to mama's teat. Uh, here's another one. Like I said, I recognize the daddies that are on the street. Here's another one. Uh, look at his little face. Is that too cutie? Reminds me of a little cow or something. He's got the brown over his eye and his ear. His, not his eye on this side, but his ear. And then he's got this cute little marking right there. So he's a good eater too. This one, another boy. There were seven boys and two girls. So I'm gonna show you another white one. Oh, this one also has markings on his face. And over here on this side, and this one's a little boy. That's <laughs> so freaking cute. Um, and I have marked down on the paper what ones were born at what time. I just don't have it right at the moment. This is a, a black and white one. And I think daddy is bear that lives in the neighborhood. Uh, so it's got some white on its belly, as you can see some white on its feet right there and um, white behind there up here and all through its neck area and down here like a little diamond or something on his chest adorable and they're just getting so chubby already there you go mama there's your baby back Okay, so that was puppy number, I think, three. Here's another one. This one is really cute, too. He's got a little marking right here. A black ear, black face. It looks like it's a brindle color right here. Black brindle color right there on his eye and his ear. Just adorable markings. And this one is another little boy. And he's, get, he's a little chub at too. And then I have some that are eating that aren't going to be real happy. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Let's see, five, six, seven, eight. Where's the other, where's the ninth one? I'm not sure. There's this one right here. He's the runt of the litter. He's all black. Um, he's got a little bit of white right here on his chest and that's it he's the only one that's a solid black color and he's the runt and he's just he's just adorable and he was just feeding off of mama so I'm gonna let him go back unless he's done he looks like he's almost ready for a nap there you go and then let's see this one right oh were you eating? I'm sorry. This one right here looks the same as the other one. I think the marking's a little bit smaller. And another boy. And he's got some white on his feet, on his paws. See how you can see that? Isn't that cute? On all of his paws, white on his chest, underneath his neck. 
and he's a wiggly one. Here you go, Mama. And this one, not gonna like it. I'm gonna take it off of Mama's teeth. Oh, there you go. This one's a little porker too, and I think he'll probably be a brindle color. He looks kind of tannish right now, and um, yeah, he looks, I don't even see any white on him. Oh, there's a little white mark right there on his chest, but um, he's either gonna be a brindle color or uh, a brown, but he's a little squirmer too. Another little boy, lots of boys. There you go. I thought there was a girl in here. Maybe this one's the girl. This one, I love the markings. Yeah, this one's a little girl. Um, but look at the marking. <laughs> it's like got a white patch, brown on the eyes and the ear, brown on the eyes and the ear, and then a white mark going through it. And uh, some white on its tummy some little white feet, um, just adorable little markings. Um, and there's another girl in here, but I don't know which one that is right now. I'm missing one of them. It's hard to tell. <laughs> um, that one I already showed you, that one I showed you, he's back to sleep on his back. Um, let's see. And I think the other one that's black and white that I showed you that kind of looks like a cow. Um, let's see. Look at the little tip of its tail too. It's really cute. Now that one's the boy. I think the other one like this is the girl. And um, it's, it's busy trying to drink some milk right now. But that's all the puppies. They're gonna be three days this evening and um, yeah one of you guys suggested about um, donations which made me cry I couldn't believe it that so many of you guys wanted to help support these little pups um, and uh, and I'm just really grateful for that there's a lot of you out there there's um, Sanja I think that's how you say your name um, who has donated. There's my friend Simon from Morelia who's donated. There's um, uh, Dinah who has donated. There is, oh gosh, Sue who donated. There is, I don't want to forget anybody. I'm going off of memory here, which is pretty scary. Dina Moody. Huh? Dina. Dina uh, is another one who donated and um, Alex donated, and I think one other person did. Oh gosh, I hope I'm not forgetting your name. Anyhow, honestly, I, I am really touched that you guys wanted to help support these little guys, and I want to give them a good start in life. I want to get them dewormed when they air, when they're done nursing, and get their baby shots. And... Um, my son's girlfriend suggested to get them neutered and spayed um, before giving them away. I don't know what the cost of any of this is right now, but, um, you know, this is her little pen. This was a little Amazon pool, dog pool that we sent away for. And, um, yeah, uh, they're going to be here for the next eight weeks, growing and getting chubby and running around and getting weaned and hopefully potty trained and all that stuff so our hands will be pretty full and mama's back to having her girlish figure already and um and i and i thank you guys for for the donations because i would have never asked for anything like that i just don't do that when you guys had asked before about if you could donate to our youtube channel I just say, watch the commercials. You know, we get a couple of more extra bucks for the month. Our channel's not very big at all. I mean, we only get, I think, $80 a month from YouTube uh, for our share. And, um, you know, we just like to be true to who we are, tell you about Mexico, our love for Mexico, and bring you all kinds of information. Mm -hmm. This time the information's on 
a street dog named Brindle that I adopted and her babies that came along with her as a surprise. So again, thank you from my heart for the donations that you guys are doing to sponsor their, these babies for their food and their shots that they'll be getting and, um, and, the, and the street dogs. Some of you guys are saying for the street dogs because I always, I have a huge bowl and food outside um, my gate all the time for the street dogs that come by and some dog beds that I bought and just stuff and donations that I give to a lady in my community that helps with the street dogs on spaying and neutering and things like that. So that's where my heart is. Obviously that's where your hearts are. And one other puppy I forgot to show you, number nine. Um, let me show you just adorable markings. It's another white one. There's three white ones, another little boy. And this one has the same markings. He's got some white right here. I mean, uh, brown right here by his eye, a little white patch, brown on his ear and on this side. And look at his little butt, how cute it is. Oh, he's got a little marking right here on his arm. Oh, big yawn. And look at his butt area. Is this, is that too cute? <laughs> I'm telling you, these little puppies have the cutest markings ever. This one just got through eating. So it's nap time for the next hour or so. So thank you again, you guys, for your donations. I would have never asked you guys asked me through messages and through Facebook or, um, if you guys could go ahead and donate. So we created that ZELL, I think is how you say it, Z-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. um, it's like from institution to institution. Um, and all you need on that is just my email. Um, and I listed that on the um, Facebook page. So all you need if you guys do want to donate to Zell, I think it is, Z-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. I say Zally, but that's probably wrong. Um, it's from bank institution to bank institution. And um, all you need is my email address, which is funlovinggal59 at Yahoo. And I'll say it for you. Or Mark can just spell it down below mm -hmm. so that you got it right. But anyhow, if you guys want to give donations it touches my heart it'll go for them you can put a note in there that says where you want me to spend the money for the puppies for mama because she needs to get her shots and stuff later too but <clears throat> you know i don't mind paying for that getting her spayed and and all that stuff because i took her in but um there's a note section where you can say where you want the money to go to if you want it to go to the bags of food that i buy for the street dogs or more dog beds um or for the puppies and their shots and their food um just leave me a comment and let me know and like i said you guys have really touched my heart how much that you have expressed um, your love for dogs and that you wanted to help us and that just is amazing. So I wanted to say thank you from the two travelers in Mexico. What she did. Bye guys. <laughs>